happened at that carnival was a tragedy. One that could have been avoided. If you did not keep so many secrets... Oh, well, what is this, a duet? Since when did you two get so chummy? Don't change the subject. The spirits of vengeance have always been the secret guardians of the parchment of power. Guardians? <laughs> Blaze is probably using the page as toilet paper right now. I met the guy. You're giving him too much credit. We did what we had to do. That secret kept the page out of our enemy's hands for centuries. At what cost? You cannot win this war with secrets. Magic is right. If we're going to stop Lilith from causing any more massacres, we need to come clean with each other, now. There is nothing else, Captain. I wish I could believe you. So do I. Then I don't see a point in continuing this conversation. Grade A bull. You know, it's kind of rude to walk around in here and not give me so much as a hello. I assumed you were asleep. Uh, I don't sleep much. But that doesn't stop me from enjoying the company of a comfortable bed when I spot one. After that fight at the Quinton Carnival, I suppose we all could use a lengthy rest. I can't get too comfortable. Not so long as Sabretooth's still out there. He is your quarry, I take it? I guess you could say that. We have a history. None of it nice. Though he's definitely changed. His nasty side got... Well, nastier. From what I have seen, he should not be much trouble for you. I've been tracking and fighting him for decades. If he was easy to handle, trust me, I would have put him away for good ages ago. This last time, though, he's gotten even more deadly. Then I hope you can rise to the challenge. Does not look like you are planning to stay long. Some find our abbey to be a bit unnerving. Oh, this place is nothing. You'd be surprised at some of the places I've rested my boots. I feel compelled to warn you that we, the living, are not alone here at the Abbey. Wait, you telling me this place has got ghosts? If that makes you uncomfortable... <laughs> not at all. This ain't my first visit to Caretaker and Agatha's House of Oddities. We go way back. I see the way you're looking at me. Who's this mysterious guy hanging out in my place all of a sudden? Perhaps. Tell you what, I've got a little break between people trying to kill me, so let's have a little chat. What do you know about this Johnny Blaze? He's a flaming jackass. Used to be known as the Spirit of Vengeance, until even his attitude got too bad for that job. Seems like he's really committed to the carny life now. Must be the funnel cakes and fried candy bars. Do you think a man like that is up to the challenge before him? Guarding the parchment of power is not a task taken lightly. Yeah, we face some vile customers together. He may not have the flaming skull thing anymore, but he's got guts where it counts. How long have you known Sabretooth? Seems like you two have a history. His real name's Victor Creed, and you're right. We've got bad blood going back a long time. Believe it or not, we used to be teammates and pals. Kinda. They say familiarity breeds contempt. Yeah, well, they get things dead on sometimes. Didn't take me long to notice he wasn't exactly playing with a full deck. Creed and I have long since chosen to follow different paths. Yet somehow, we keep ending up at the same friggin' destination. You seem like a nomad, but surely you have a place you call home. I guess you could say Xavier's place has been the closest thing to a real home I've ever had. Who? Oh, Professor Charles Xavier. He's got a swanky place outside of New York City. Uh, a private school. Lots of space and plenty of interesting folk. 
It's a lot like your abbey here. Except Charles has a baseball field. Baseball? Yeah. If you got interest, I'd be happy to explain all the rules sometime. You seem to know everyone. I assume you know the Midnight Suns as well. I know some of these kids. Didn't know they got themselves a band name. Who do you know? Magic, for instance. She's the kid sister of a buddy of mine. Pyotr Rasputin. I call him Colossus. Interesting. You and she have similar attitudes. Maybe because we have similar backgrounds. I grew up in Canada, surrounded by wolves. And she grew up in Limbo, surrounded by demons. Which place is worse? Canada or Limbo? Oh, Limbo. They don't have hockey. Did I hear you correctly? You know Caretaker? She's an interesting lady. First met her when I was a lot less grizzled. I would like to hear this story. It's not exactly a funny story, and I don't want to embarrass the old lady. Maybe I'll tell you some other time. I have taken up enough of your time. I should go. It's been a pleasure. If you have more questions, you know where to find me. Hunter, you there? I'm in the library. It's super important you meet me here ASAP. Wolverine's how old? Sure. Hunter, I can hear you. What are you reading, Nico? A limited edition print of the Book of Thoth. The Book of Thoth? Where did you find the book of such rarity? I didn't. Someone just left it out. Weird, too, because I was looking for a book on chaos magic so I could understand Wanda's grimoire a little better. I didn't think I was going to find any, since Caretaker probably hid or burned every single text on the topic. But, poof, here this was, waiting for me. It has been my experience that what we seek usually has a way of finding us first. Yeah, maybe, but it's not like books just pull themselves off shelves and onto tables. Well, not in this castle, at least. Someone left this out. I wonder who. Sometimes I think this library is haunted by a friendly librarian ghost. Find anything helpful in it? I did. There's a historical account of an ancient Egyptian pharaoh who was struck by a dark madness after reading a page from an old book called... <clears throat> the Scrolls of Cathon. Wait, that is another name for the... Darkhold, I know. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if this was the first case of corruption in recorded history. Was this pharaoh's corruption ever purified? Hold up, I haven't gotten to that part of the story. So the legend goes that nothing could cure the pharaoh until this traveling light worker came along, laid his hands upon the pharaoh, and recited an incantation. The pharaoh came back to his senses and returned to his good old classical Egyptian disbody self. Sounds like the best possible outcome was reached for everyone involved. Well, not for everyone. So like, when the light worker recited the incantation, he absorbed all the pharaoh's corruption into his own body and, uh, died. He did not survive? No. But the lines of the incantation he used are scattered throughout this book. I'm gonna have magic help me transcribe them and see if we can use them to cure Wanda. Let me get this straight. You and Magic plan on piecing together a 100,000-year-old incantation that worked once and killed the person who said it? Yes? It is unlikely that the historical account of the incantation is accurate. Well, I've, I've got to try something. It's not like anyone else has any other bright ideas. Well, I'm going to find Magic, see if we can make a dent in this transcription. I'll give you a shout when we do. Until then, not a word about this to 
anyone. This isn't working. The map table? Should I get Tony? No, I mean, Midnight Suns, Avengers, and now X-Men. The Abbey. None of it's working. And I have no one to blame but myself. That is not what I see. I appreciate the rare vote of confidence, but you're wrong. This is my doing. Three teams under the same roof, all fighting for different reasons. Nothing to bring us together. It's not too late to change that. If Agatha were here, she'd tell me... No, oh, it doesn't matter. She isn't here. If she were here, what do you think she would tell you to do? To stop being so stubborn. That bringing everyone together is long overdue. And that she loves you. Yes. So? What now? I'm calling a meeting. When? Tonight. I'll spread the word. Find me after your mission. We can go there together. All right. We need to take that monster out. Anyone you are, do not allow her to distract you. That does not sound like much of a challenge.
mother abandoned. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. And don't come back. As long as you're ready for the counter! or what? Well, so far. Feel my call. We've done it. Excellent work. Hey, kiddo. Almost time for the meeting. I'm ready. All right. It's not far from here. Hello, my dear. What are you doing here? Whenever Sarah was this nervous, I used to keep close. A look, a smile, a touch on the shoulder. It always helped. I can't do that now, of course, but death can't stop me from watching over her. Why would she be nervous? I don't know. I think I'll stay and find out. Uh, 
An auspicious night. I'm always wary of impromptu team meetings. Why? It's usually when people get fired. You have been fired? Well, me? No. But I've had to call those meetings, and they suck. Short notice for a meeting. What do you think it is about? From the set of her jaw, some kind of reprimand. Did she say what it's about? You know how long this will take? I do not. Why? Robbie and I had plans. It's fine. We'll figure it out. Big news, whatever it is. How can you tell? I've known Sarah long enough. After tonight, everything changes. I thought there'd be s such a charming location for whatever is about to happen. What, no predictions? As I have mentioned on many occasions, often in your presence, I can no longer peer along the shaft of time's arrow, nor alter its arc. But if you could, what would you suggest I do? Waste my considerable talents on a glorified pep talk? I should think not. So you do know what she will say? I have my suspicions. I dislike... She didn't call this meeting lightly. Whatever this is, it's important. How do you know? Because I've called meetings like this before. What a waste of my evening. You know what this is about? No, but it will be a waste, I am certain. Uh, any idea what this is about? Not really. I think she's gonna yell at somebody. Why do you say that? Hmm, just a feeling. Nobody knows what this is about. Did she say something to you? Not really. Huh, whatever it is, it can't be good. This is odd, huh? The meeting? No, meeting out here. Why not the common room? Something's up. Good thing you're fireproof. Everyone's here. I should begin. You sound like you're hesitating. That's because I am. I could use a moment to collect my thoughts. What did you always tell me? Hesitation is a gift delivered to your enemy. It is absolute cruelty to use my own words against me. Especially when you're right. Time to tear off the bandage. Thank you all for coming. Truthfully, I wasn't sure everyone would. And that's why we're meeting. The Hunter and I are working to stop Lilith and her master, Cathan. I'm not certain about the rest of you. Uh, we're in this to the end. Are you? I see petty rivals more concerned with scoring points off one another than stopping the mother of demons. Whoa there, if anyone isn't pulling their weight, it's the Midnight Suns. And if anyone's doing their own thing, it's the Avengers. And the ringleaders prove my point. But I speak only for myself. So, I ask the Hunter... Who is responsible for the dysfunctional state in which we find ourselves? Every one of us bears responsibility for our failure. Hey, I just got here. Except for Logan. I'm sorry. I'll try to do better. And Parker. He is fine. Oh, okay. But the rest of us spend our time at odds. We have accomplished next to nothing since my return. Unless you count losing ground to my mother. She will destroy everything you know, pollute all you love. In this, she and her followers are unified. To serve Lilith is to serve Cathan. If you don't pull the same direction, if you'd rather fight each other, we've already lost. Look, the Midnight Suns are unproven. I will grant that they have potential, but we can't trust an apocalyptic threat to the Halloween teens. Um, we're all in our 20s. Could have fooled me. See? The Avengers underestimate their allies. You think they'll do otherwise for the Mother of Demons? 
If they're in charge, we lose. You're both right. The only one who can lead us to victory is the hunter. Huh. That's our Steve. What do you say, Hunter? Are you willing to lead us against your own mother? Only if everyone wants me to do it. I can only speak for myself, but you already convinced me. Just like that? It's a heavy responsibility. I wanted to hear you say you're willing to bear it. We're your team, Hunter. Tell us how you plan to lead us. We know our goal. Now we need to do the work. I plan to push everyone here to the limit. But no one has to do anything I will not do myself. Without trust and respect, we are no team. Highly inspirational, boss. But let's get down to Vibranium Tax. We're all equal here, and it's obvious my team is first among equals. Look, there's no question these kids have heart. We can't do any of this without them. But this isn't our first apocalypse, and experience beats heart any day of the week. Boss, I need to know where we stand on this. Tony, do you believe the world is truly in danger? Of course. And do you believe I can lead the team against this threat? Well, yeah. Then you and the rest of the Avengers need to trust me to do what is best for all of us. Um, not to interrupt this feel-good moment, but what about us? It's no secret we were sidelined when Tony and the others showed up. Caretaker built our team to face this threat, but we've been pushed aside. We... Uh, I need to know that ends here. There is no future where the Midnight Suns miss the fight. That's all we needed to hear. You need to hear more than that. So does everyone here. Nico, Blade, Ileana, and Robbie may have been here first. But now? We are all the Midnight Suns. When every one of us believes that, we will be ready to face my mother. That's enough for tonight. I want all of you to reflect on what we said. If you'll excuse me, I need a moment with the Hunter. So, that's it. We did what we could. Let's hope it works. I had no idea this was coming. Kiddo, you have no poker face. For the others to consider you as a leader, your reaction needed to be genuine. Was Steve in on this? No, but he respects you. And I had a feeling he'd speak his mind. If he hadn't suggested you take the reins, it would have been me. I still do not see the point of all this. They're finally thinking of something other than themselves. That was the point. That is all I needed. Tonight, we pulled the plunger and set the ball rolling. The rest is gravity and the occasional nudge. Is that a pinball reference? In the 70s, Agatha insisted I pick up a hobby. I won a few tournaments. Why do I know about pinball? Perhaps it's the universe telling you to challenge me when this is all done? Think I could take you? No. You'd drain faster than bathwater. 